everyone. I'm Kimberly, my Victorian heart. How are you today? Um, I am gonna do just a quick, simple little um, project with ITD Collections. Um, rice paper R1873, and this has the um, old vintage Louis Eichhardt designs. He was um, a famous artist, and um, I actually love him. So we're gonna be doing um, this little image right here, the woman with her bird, and we're gonna put it on the IOD frames mold. And um, so I'm gonna put the camera down and we'll get started. Thanks for being here. So I've already sort of um, taken my um, frame, resin frame, and lined up how I wanna put the picture on the frame. And as what I did is I took my finger and creased in little lines so that I can, you know, wet tear paper along the line. And now I'm gonna take my watercolor pen, it just has water in it, and I'm gonna um, wet tear around a little bit on the outside edge of my um, my water started a little bit on the outside edge of that line I made a crease with because I don't want to tear up too much of the paper where I want it to go in the frame there we go and you just want to Get it back on here. So I'm just brushing very gently and lightly over the rice paper. You don't want to overwork it. You don't want to dig in your brush. You want to use a soft bristle brush that's dry when you dip into the decoupage gel because, um, you know, you just don't want to um, damage or overwork the rice paper. Okay, we have it um, decoupaged and um, we need to let this dry now. And I'll be back for um, adding some paint and some aging and wax. Now we're gonna paint the frame. I think we're gonna um, do a blend of paint. So we're gonna start off with Pentart Glamour acrylic paint ultra sparkly so we'll go in with this little artist brush you can see how sparkly that is really brilliant and we'll just put it just tiny touches on here just pounce the paint I think the Louis Eichhardt girl is worthy of some uh, glamour sparkle. Well, give me a good look there. Very pretty. So I decided to go in with um, the mud gray acrylic matte paint and um, I just teeny tiny bits on a, a little tiny artist brush and I went in and I darkened the artist brush strokes 
with the dark lines of her gown to um, make them stand out a little more. And I mean, you just need literally just the tiniest touch of paint and you can bring bring that detail out. Um, Cause you know, this is a bit of a pale, um, one of the paler images that I chose on here. And um, you know, you can just go in and touch the dark part on her, on the hair up here. Just bring it out a little more, not, not too, too much. And um, I think that's her eyelashes right there. So it brings it out a little more. And um, I think the birdie is good. And this is like the landscape here. So we just sort of brought that out a little more. And over here. And I had already touched up the longer strokes there. And there you go. Much better. So it's not so pale. And we're gonna um, go dry this and be right back. Okay, now we're back. And I think um, we wanna put some touches of a delicate metallic paint and rose gold on the frame. I feel like um, the gown has the slightest tone of a rose pink. Like a, it's almost like the um, Charlotte Blush Artisan Powder mixed with taupe. Um, so I think that'll be really pretty on the frame. So we're just gonna blot it around the frame. Not go really heavy or anything. Because we're gonna go behind this with um, the dark gold metallic paint. So we just wanna kind of blot it around. Okay, I think that's good. Think you can get a good view of that. And I'm gonna dry this, be right back. Okay, now we're gonna um, add some touches of um, Pintard Delicate Metallic Paint and Dark Gold. It's really um, not a very dark gold. randomly pounce little bits around the frame. Boy, I really do love that uh, glamour metallic antique gold. That is some pretty stuff. I may add a little bit back to this too. So pretty. All right, I think mean, that's good. So I'll give you a good look. I am going to take um, a damp brush, just a little, you know, not wet wet, but I'm gonna just rub this kind of like Maybe help blend anything that might be wet. Okay. And then wipe away with my cloth. Yeah, I think we're gonna dab in some more of the, the beautiful antique gold glamour metallic, just a little bit to bring some of that back. So pretty. 
Alright, just tiny touches. Not too much. Such a beautiful paint. I love it. Okay, we have our frame drawing and we're going to add our antique paste by Pintart in the color Umbra. It's like a dark, earthy brown. Just little touches. I like to use an angled, a little small angled artist brush to get into the little ornate crevices here the little detail. So now you just want to um, take another brush and just sort of try to rub in your antique paste that you dabbed in. Just sort of rub it in and it will really dark, it, you know, really can darken your, your frame your paint that you applied um, and if you don't like it you can always wipe it back and um, you can dip a, uh, a soft cloth into Pintart solvent cleaner and that will help it clean right off you know it won't, won't hurt anything just a little tiny dab on a cloth is all you need or you know you could do it like a q-tip or a small brush and clean it up. So here we go. And I want to go in again with this angled artist brush and I want to antique on the inside edge of this frame with this um, antique paste. So before I dip it back into the antique paste, I'm gonna see how much I have remaining on the brush. And it's good, I have some in here. Um, add just a little more. You don't want it to go too, too dark, you know, if that's something you don't care for. There we go. Makes it look oldy and antique -y, which is kind of cool. And let's see, this is like, I don't know what that is there, kind of bugging me. Like a dark brown dot that developed when I put the antique piece. There we go. And then you can go in with a cloth and with your fingertip go in and just rub some of it back. You know, if it's too much. Tone it down. You can go over your your frame with the cloth. Just like this. sliding around. You just go like this and wipe it back and it brightens it back up a little bit. And you can, you know, add back some antique paste if you want. If you thought you took too much off. I'll go back in here with mine a little bit. I 
right down in there. Be a little up there. I like that. I'm happy with that. So um, before we do our um, clear decor wax, we're adding a um, coat of chameleon varnish paint. It's actually, um, let me get the lid. It's called chameleon varnish and it's in gold. It's not a paint. It's just like a varnish and it's kind of iridescent and it gives this just whisper veil of um, sparkle to your project. Just the, the slightest soft, elegant little touch of like, I think um, it was described to me as like a fairy kiss. And um, I think that's a great description. So there you go. And we have to let this dry. And I just want to like maybe work out those brush strokes a little bit better. Kind of got a lot there. And that is going to dry. And then we can add our clear decor wax. And now we can add some uh, clear decor wax. Um, you can use um, any, you know, clear de decor wax that you prefer. And this is what is going to help grab the powder that we're going to add to here, the, the artisan powders that we're going to add. And you need a dry, clean brush to add the powders, and you need a good dry, clean brush to do your wax. So um, I'm just going to use this old, like, kind of like, I don't know what they call this um, brush, but I use it for glue, I use it for wax. So you're just going to take your wax and randomly apply it all around your frame. So we're gonna apply Prima Marketing Memory Hardware by Frank Garcia Artisan Powder. And this is the color Orleans Taupe. I believe we have this in stock um, at myvictorianheart.com. And this is what it looks like. It's just kind of like a taupey, dusty, agey color. Just put that in the edge there. And then you want to tap off the excess. And then you just want to get like a, um, a clean dry brush and just sort of brush it off and brush it out. Okay, and it's gonna really, it's gonna dull your project a lot. It's gonna um, take away a lot of the shine and, you know, the idea is to make something like old and agey. And if you wanna get the shine back, you can go over parts of it with a cloth like this and get some of it back. The idea is to get the dust of the uh, artisan powder into the detail and the crevices and, and stuff. But you can go in and, you know, rub your frame with a cloth all around. Kind of like buffing it, you know, and get some of your color back. There you go. After we put some dabs of more wax on. This has like a pale rose pink tone. And we'll get some wax. Oops. All around here. Oops. 
Try and get it in that detail. All right, that should do it. Get our fan brush, wipe off the Orleans taupe. And so I just put a little bit like that on there. And I'm just gonna work it in here like this. Get a little more on my brush. Come over here with it. Do those details. You can kind of just pounce it in there if you want. And tap it off. And then you can light back with your cloth. Some of it's loose in there. Rub that in. And there you go. So pretty. You have the, the, the rose, the pale rose tones, and the gold, and the AG tones. Let it dry. And it takes a couple days for it to cure, you know. But it'll provide a good barrier to protect it. So we're getting our wax in here. Just really getting the bristles in there. This, you know, you could string a ribbon with this, um, drill like a little, get a little dremel and drill in here. Or you can, you know, glue on a, uh, a hanging hooker bracket and um, hang it up. You could attach this to the cover of a journal or a book or um, a piece of um, altar canvas art. I mean, there's a lot of things that you can do with these beautiful IOD uh, frames molds. So many ways to use them. And we're gonna um, decoupage the back too. So I took some uh, rubbing alcohol and put it on a cloth and cleaned off the back, removing the uh, wax residue that may have gotten back here. And along the edges and there we go and it cleans off you know any bits of paint that were stuck back here so ready to go nice and clean and oil and wax free Okay, we are ready to decoup decoupage the back of the um, frame. And we're using an um, ITD collection rice paper R1108. And it's like a French inspired um, antique French document paper. I have um, taken my paper and laid it on the back of the frame. And here is our the front that is finished. And I don't know if you can capture the sparkles on there from the chameleon varnish. But now we're going to do the back. And I have rubbed an outline with my fingers onto the back. And I'm just going to fit it on here. And I'm just going to go rub again. I just wanted a little bit of the rose, little small roses 
on here. And I have my water pen. And I'm just gonna go around and just wipe the paper around the outside of the, the edge there. Oops. Just start tearing over here. So now I'm gonna have a way. I'm just gonna carefully tear. Okay. Set that aside. There will be overhang on here. And that it's easier to, you know, remove more paper than it is to add it. So I always kind of over, overdo it just in case. Yeah. So let's see. Oops, it goes like this. There we go. We have a lot of overhang here, and that's good. That's good. So, is what we're gonna do is just kind of wet tear away all that excess over here. Now we're gonna apply our decoupage varnishing glue, and I have uh, the silky shine. Pintart decoupage varnish glue silk I broke. Our lid got damaged in shipping, so I just keep this little cover, foil cover under here. I'll probably tape it or something. Alrighty, let's see. Get our brush going. Oops, sliding around. Look like I Yeah, we're gonna apply our decoupage varnishing glue. And I have uh, the Silky Shine Pintart decoupage varnishing glue Silky Shine broke. Our lid got damaged in shipping, so I just keep this little cover, foil cover under here. I'll probably tape it or something. All righty, let's see. Get our brush going. Sliding around. Look like I now we're going to apply a coat of the decoupage varnish and glue on top. Then we need to let it dry. Just soft, very gentle, soft strokes. And um, 
any of these edges that overhang. After I get this dry, um, I'll be sanding, sanding them. Okay, you just have to let that dry. Take a blow dryer to it and be right back. So after you get the um, rice paper decoupage and dried and you um, remove the overhanging pieces of uh, paper, if there are any, um, you want to go around with like a wet brush or your water pen and you just sort of wet at the edges where the overhang is and gently tear them away. And um, Or you can just um, take a sanding block. And I like this one because it has this little angled edge. And you can take the little narrow part and literally get into these little ornate crevices and get bits of rice paper out of there if they're in there. And um, that's how I get rid of mine. And most of mine are gone. I did them off camera, you know, to save time. But you just go around and you, you know, gently sand the back edge. And, um, you know, you're good. And there's a little piece of uh, paper that came up right here and I need to get some glue and tack that down. So, just get a little brush here. Right there. Probably sand over sanded it or something. And if there's there's a little bit of missing paper, so you know you have two options. You can tack, you know, patch in a little piece of paper, which um, I think I'll use the part up here because that's where that was. So you can just literally take a little patch like this and you can just patch it on. With the wet glue and then go over it with some more glue. Or you can um, paint it like a, a paint or an aging medium. You know, whatever you think is easier. So I'll have to let that dry. But there you go. So perfectly blended. So we are gonna um, brush a coat of um, Pintar Chameleon Varnish Iridescent um, Gold on our um, back of our frame. So now we're gonna um, go around the edges with the uh, antique paste and antique gold, like on the back. I love the antique gold, antique paste by Pintart for this purpose. Just gonna go around the edge there. And you could do this with paint too. And you can just go around the sides of your frame too, like this with it if you want. Maybe brush it just a tad around here for. I mean, there is wax on here, but you know, it doesn't hurt really. 
And so we'll just go around with our soft cloth and clean it up a little bit, rub it back. It's very pretty. This is what we're rubbing off. And let's see. I'm going to take just a, a little bit of umbra. So you just want to go in over the just little bits over the gold, the anti-gold anti-paste with the umbra anti-paste. And just kind of aging it a little bit back here. into any little crevices in there. Just kind of nice. And then if you want to um, like just go randomly around the back with the, with the umbra, you know, you can just brush a little bit in and then you know, wipe it back and it antiques the back a little bit. And you still have your shimmery chameleon effect varnish, chameleon varnish. And there you go. The back is pretty too. Just touch up the sides here. You can put another coat of your uh, clear decor wax if you if you want. I'm like aging in there. This is like an old 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 frame picture. And there you go. All done. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you're inspired to make something beautiful and you get a lot of creative joy out of it and um thank you for being here bye bye